The world of fifth-generation fighter jets is evolving rapidly, with nations racing to combine stealth, speed, and advanced avionics into next-generation combat aircraft. Among the most talked-about platforms are Turkey's Khan and China's Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon. While the J-20 has already established itself as a mature, air dominance fighter. The Khan represents Turkey's ambitious leap into indigenous stealth technology and global fighter exports. Let's dive into a detailed comparison of these two modern jets. The Khan, also known as the TFX, is Turkey's homegrown fifth-generation fighter, designed to replace aging F-16 and compete internationally. Developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. With global partners, it focuses on stealth, supercruise, and NATO compatible avionics. The Chengdu J 20, China's flagship stealth fighter, has been operational since 2017. Built by Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for the PLAF, it emphasizes air superiority, long range strike, and regional dominance. Often compared to the US F 22 and F 35. Length Khan's airframe measures 20.3 meters, while the J 20 is slightly longer at 21.2 meters. Khan has maximum takeoff weight, approximately 27,000 kilograms compared to the J-20, which has slightly higher 37,000 kilograms. Khan currently uses interim twin GEF-110 engines with an indigenous TEI TF-35000 planned. While the J-20 is powered by two WS-15 engines with thrust vectoring for superior agility. Khan achieves Mach 1.8 plus with supercruise potential, while J20 exceeds Mach 2 with confirmed supercruise. Khan is expected to cost around 100 to 120 million dollars, while the J20 costs around 110 million dollars. Khan has 10 external hardpoints, while the J20 has six external hardpoints. Khan will use Turkey's Goktagan and Bozdagan missiles, while the J-20 uses PL-10, PL-15, and future PL-21 missiles. The Khan completed its first flight in 2024. The second prototype entered production in 2025 and is expected to fly in early 2026. Turkey unveiled its indigenous TEI TF-35000 engine planned for integration around 2029 to 2030, a Selsun's ESA radar and new electronic warfare systems. Turkey plans to deliver the first block 10 jets in 2028. Countries like Indonesia, Pakistan, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia have shown strong interest in buying the Khan. The J-20 fleet grew to more than 300 aircraft by late 2025. China began integrating the new WS-15 engines, giving the jet supercruise and better agility. Its ESA radar was upgraded using new semiconductor technology to increase detection range. China added man-on-man -man teaming, so the J-20 can control loyal wingman drones. New variants like the single-seat J-20A and the twin-seat J-20 entered service in 2025. The aircraft has been deployed more frequently near Taiwan and along the India border. The Khan is built as a true multi-role fighter 
aligned with NATO standards. It is intended to perform a wide range of missions, including air superiority, ground attack, precision strike, and network-centric operations. This makes the CON more flexible for diverse mission profiles and interoperability with allied forces. In contrast, the J-20 is designed primarily for long-range interception and air dominance missions, giving China a strategic edge in controlling large airspaces and engaging targets from extended distances. Its design, engines, and sensors are optimized for high-altitude, long-range engagements. The Khan is still progressing through the prototyping and testing phase. While its development is moving rapidly, it has not yet entered mass production. The first operational Khan units are expected to be delivered to the Turkish Air Force by 2028, marking the beginning of its entry into active service. The J-20 on the other hand, is already a fully mature platform with large-scale production underway, and more than 300 aircraft are currently operating with the PLAF. China continues to increase its annual output, making the J-20 one of the fastest produced fifth-generation fighters in the world. The J-20 stands today as a fully operational, combat-ready fifth-generation fighter, with proven engines, advanced radar systems, and a rapidly growing fleet, giving China a strong advantage in air dominance missions. The Khan, while still in the prototype stage, shows significant promise with its modern design, NATO-compatible systems, and strong export potential. Although the J-20 currently leads in maturity and capability, the Khan is shaping up to become a competitive and affordable alternative in the global fighter market. In the coming decade, both aircraft will play key roles in shifting the balance of air power in their respective regions. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comments section.